Tomo News presents Future Tech When Science Fiction Becomes Reality. The PL01 concept tank, developed by Obram, part of Poland Defense Holdings, with the cooperation of BAE Systems, was recently unveiled at the MSPO 2013 Defense Exhibition. The tank weighs 35 tons and is 7 meters long, 3.8 meters wide, and 2.8 meters high, and is operated by a crew of three people. Using adaptive technology, the hexagonal Peltier plates on the surface can adjust temperature to ambient levels, rendering the tank invisible to infrared sensors. The tank also features 350 degrees observation capability during the day and night. Comprised of a chassis with an unmanned turret with an auto-loading 105mm or 120mm caliber cannon, the PL-01 is intended to act as a fire support combat vehicle. According to Poland Defense Holdings, the PL-01 is expected to begin production in 2018 and be ready for export in 2022. Iron Man may no longer be a movie fantasy. Now the US Army is developing a tactical assault light operator suit designed to provide soldiers with superhuman strength and greater ballistic protection. The Iron Man armor suit can monitor a soldier's heart rate, hydration levels and core body temperature. The suit would respond to the data supplied by an onboard computer hooked up to sensors to keep a soldier in the optimum condition for battle. The body armor can transform from liquid to solid in milliseconds when a magnetic field or electrical current is applied. If a soldier is wounded, the Talos suit would monitor their health or even stop the bleeding using a wound stasis program. While an exoskeleton, likely powered by hydraulics, gives the wearer superhuman strength. The lightweight suit will also provide the wearer with night vision, increasing a soldier's mobility. Antennas provide capacity for communications. Like all good superheroes, however, Talos has a weakness, as it currently needs a heavy hydraulic pump or battery to help operate all the high-tech equipment. NASA envisions a floating city above Venus's clouds. NASA envisions a mission to Venus that could eventually result in the construction of a floating city of solar-powered airships above Venus's clouds, where humans could be able to live permanently. Venus's surface, unlike Mars, is nearly unvisitable. It has an atmospheric pressure up to 92 times greater than Earth's, a temperature of 462 degrees Celsius, and an atmosphere mostly made of carbon dioxide with a cloud layer made of sulfuric acid. To make exploration of Venus possible, NASA is thinking of developing a floating city above the planet's clouds at an altitude of about 50 kilometers, where conditions are more similar to Earth. First, NASA would send a robotic scout to determine the lay of the land. It would then send a crew that would spend 30 days floating above the planet in a 130-meter-long Zeppelin-style helium ship. The Zeppelin would be accompanied on its explorations by a smaller, 31-meter robotic, solar-powered helium airship. If successful, teams of two astronauts would each spend a year floating above the planet, and eventually, in a more distant future, NASA would construct a floating city of airships for permanent human presence. To develop the mission, NASA would use technology that currently or will soon exist, although NASA is a decade or two away from being able to launch such a mission. FDA approves device that stops gunshot bleeding in 15 seconds. The United States Food and Drug Administration has approved the civilian use of this device that can be used to stop major hemorrhaging. The XSTAT Rapid Hemostasis System was approved for use by the military last year, but now the innovative wound dressing device can be used by the general public. XSTAT 30 is a syringe filled with tiny expandable sponges that work to fill a wound and stop hemorrhaging in 15 seconds. There are 92 sponges in each syringe, but the number of sponges needed to stop bleeding varies depending on the wound. Three syringes can be used per patient. Using an XSTAT gives the patient four hours to seek professional medical attention. Sponges have radio plaque markers, so an X-ray can pick up any sponges to help in the process of extraction. According to the U.S. Army Institute of Surgical Research, 30 to 40 percent of civilian deaths by traumatic injury are the result of hemorrhaging. XSTAT is for areas of the body where it is difficult to use a tourniquet. Detachable airplane cabin could save lives. How do you survive a plane crash? In a detachable cabin, at least according to the Russian engineer behind the invention. 
After working on the project for three years, Vladimir Tatarenko released his designs for a life-saving plane cabin that could parachute passengers to safety. Tatarenko's invention is a separate passenger cabin that can be attached and detached from the main aircraft. Underneath the cabin is a storage space for luggage and the roof of the cabin houses parachutes which would be released automatically when the cabin detaches in an emergency, whether during takeoff, mid-flight or landing. The capsule can land on both ground and water, with boosters and inflatable rubber tubes helping to cushion the impact and get passengers and crew to safety. With fewer than 500 people dying from plane crashes in any given year, the technology has received mixed reactions from people commenting online. SpaceWorks believes the key to space travel may be artificially induced sleep. A NASA-funded study written by aerospace engineering company SpaceWorks says that keeping astronauts unconscious during long flights in space cuts down the equipment and resources needed on the shuttle and also eliminates the negative psychological effects of long hauls in space. According to the NASA-funded study on cryogenic sleep, a human body can be placed in hibernation by simply lowering the body temperature to 93 degrees Fahrenheit. The lowered body temperature causes the body's heart rate and metabolism to decrease. The body will subsist on intravenous feeding tubes that pump the necessary nutrients into the body. Other tubes will drain urine as well as monitor the body. According to mock-ups, a torpor status habitat can hold six astronauts at once and robotic arms will ensure everyone's basic needs are met. So far, humans are only able to maintain stasis for 14 days, although the trip from Earth to Mars is expected to take up to nine months, or about 274 days. NASA has declined to fund the second stage of the research, though, and SpaceWorks, citing its potential therapeutic benefits, is now looking into using the technology here on Earth. 20-kilometer high space elevator gets patented in the US and the UK. A new technology with the potential to change how spacecrafts enter orbit has recently been patented in the UK and the US. To get shuttles into space, rockets currently use large amounts of fuel and usually also carry extra fuel. Canadian firm Thought Technology aims to change that by essentially allowing astronauts to travel partway into space on an electrical elevator. The inflatable structure could, in theory, stand up to 20 kilometers high over 20 times higher than the world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa. From the top, spacecrafts could launch into orbit in a single stage, eliminating the initial need for vertical launch rockets. Inventor Ben Quine told the CBC that the tower could resist lightning, meteors, as well as Category 5 hurricanes. The company's CEO, Carolyn Roberts, believes the invention, along with the development of self-landing rocket technologies, could herald a new era in space transport. Boeing gets patent for Star Wars-like force field defense technology. The deflector shield seen in sci-fi movies such as Star Wars may soon become a reality, after Boeing was granted the patent for a shockwave attenuation system, which forms an energy shield to protect objects from shockwaves and shrapnel. Following an explosion, shockwaves and shrapnel can cause considerable damage. Boeing has obtained a patent for a shockwave attenuation system. The system generates a plasma shield using lasers, electricity and microwaves after detecting a nearby explosion. A small area is ionized, making the temperature, density and composition inside it different from its surroundings. The shockwaves are either then absorbed, reflected or deflected by the protective arc. The innovative technology has one shortcoming. Since the shield also absorbs light, everyone protected by the system will be completely blind when the system is in operation. The UK's Defence Science and Technology Laboratory has also been working on a similar system. A 3D printed plastic cast, dubbed the Cortex Exoskeleton, is a finalist for the 2013 James Dyson Award. Widely used traditional orthopaedic casts are bulky and inconvenient. X-ray scans of the breaks in the bone allow the Cortex Exoskeleton to be printed to fit exactly over the affected limb, with an extra membrane over the point of injury. The technology is waterproof, allowing wearers to wash even with the cast on. The design allows the limb to breathe, and wearers can scratch and itch even while wearing the cast. The cast is also thin and flexible enough that clothes can be worn over it. The winner of the International Student Design Award will be announced within a week. Police use radars to see inside homes. 
At least 50 US law enforcement agencies are now equipped with a radar device that allows them to detect human movement through the walls of houses. The device, known as Range R, operates as a highly sensitive Doppler motion detector. It can detect human movement from a distance of up to 50 feet. The device beams radar waves through a wall and calculates the distance of the target by analyzing reflected waves. The device has a 160 degree conical field of view and can detect movements as slight as human breathing. It works through brick as well as concrete, but cannot penetrate metal. Use of technology raises both legal and privacy issues, and a 2001 US Supreme Court ruling barred authorities from using high-tech sensors to scan inside someone's home without first obtaining a search warrant. Samsung unveils see-through truck to help prevent traffic accidents. Samsung is seeking regulatory approval for a new invention that literally makes trucks see-through, and which the tech giant hopes may improve road safety. Overtaking trucks on a single lane road can be extremely dangerous, as it is often difficult to see the road conditions in front of the truck. To solve this problem, Samsung has installed a wireless camera to the front of the truck, which sends a live video feed to a video wall made of four exterior monitors on the back of the truck. This enables drivers behind the truck to see clearly what is going on in front, and thus decide when to overtake safely. It may also reduce the risk of accidents caused by animals crossing roads. Samsung's safety truck was developed and tested in Argentina, where traffic accident rates are among the highest in the world. Australian firm builds underwater buoys to tap ocean swell energy. An Australian company has been working on a system that uses underwater buoys to convert sea waves into zero emission energy and desalinated water. Australian firm Carnegie Wave Energy has been developing a system called CETO, which aims to utilize sea waves to generate power. Steel-made buoys that can currently generate 240 kilowatts are the main part of the system. At the test site at the Australian naval base, HMAS Stirling, three buoys were placed 11 kilometers apart. The buoys are less susceptible to extreme weather damage, while underwater waves are sufficient to generate power. The buoys' pumps drive the high-pressure water to an onshore power plant via a subsea pipe. The high-pressure water spins the turbines, which then generates zero-carbon electricity. The CETO system can be used to power a desalinization plant as well. High-pressure water can be used to remove salt from seawater through reverse osmosis. The Australian company believes that the cost of the electricity generated by the CETO system will be competitive with diesel if it is deployed at a large scale. British scientists build sound wave tractor beam. A team of researchers in the UK has successfully created a real life tractor beam that can levitate objects without contact. The device was made from 64 mini loudspeakers that can produce precisely timed sound waves accurate to the microsecond level. By increasing the sound intensity, the acoustic force could be used to levitate bigger and heavier objects. Scientists experimented with three acoustic force fields. The first one is a tweezer-like beam that can grip, move, and rotate an object. The second one behaves like an acoustic vortex, which can suspend an object in its quiet central core. The third acoustic field works like a cage, trapping the object inside. Scientists were able to move an object by simply moving the cage. The researchers hope the technology can be developed for medical applications, such as to remotely manipulate cells inside the human body. Li-Fi could replace Wi-Fi as faster internet delivery system. A new form of internet data delivery is making its way to the market, and it might replace Wi-Fi in the coming years. Li-Fi, or Life Fidelity, uses LED light bulbs to send information and theoretically can deliver internet access 100 times faster than Wi-Fi. LED light bulbs emit visible lights, which is a constant stream of photons. When the current is manipulated to create slight fluctuations, a photo detector device can pick up the pulses to convert them into an electrical current. However, because Li-Fi uses only visible light, it does not work through walls, nor will it work outdoors in the sunlight. In the future, light bulbs could become wireless hotspots and could be utilized on aircraft and in other places where radio signal interference is an issue. 
Due to its limitations, initial usage of the technology may be restricted to crowded urban areas or in areas where Wi-Fi usage may not be safe, such as hospitals. Poland developing B-mini drones that can assist with ground attacks. A Polish company has been developing mini drones called B, which can be deployed on reconnaissance missions as well as attached to military vehicles to assist the infantry during unit attacks. Polish firm WB Electronics has been testing B mini drones, which can be affixed to military vehicles such as armored personnel carriers. With a flight time of 30 minutes, the mini drone can be controlled with a tablet remote as far as 2 kilometers. The drone is also equipped with two built in cameras. So troops are able to monitor the target by real time video footage fed by the drone. An independent communication system is also set up as mobile phone connections or Wi Fi signals may not be available in battle environments. The drone is designed to act as a guided missile as video footage enables troops to lock down on a target. Designed to be used as a dense urban setting, the B-mini drone are now undergoing tests in different environments such as desert, jungle, and high altitudes. How Body Liquefaction Technology Dissolves Human Bodies You have many options for what to do with your body when you die. Bury it, freeze it, cremate it and turn it into a diamond, let it take part in a Tibetan sky burial, the list is endless. One option you probably haven't thought of is liquefying your body. No, it's not quite something like this. A Florida funeral home was the first funeral home in the U.S. to use an alkaline hydrolysis unit in 2011. The Rezimator is a steel chamber that uses a solution of water and potassium hydroxide to dissolve bodies. The chamber is pressurized to 10 atmospheres and the temperature is cranked up to 180 degrees Celsius for between two and a half to three hours as the remains are dissolved. The resulting body liquid is pure enough to be disposed of in the sewer system, while the bones are crushed into ash. Metals, such as artificial joints, are also recovered. Resumation Limited, the company that owns the Resumator, says that its units are an efficient and green alternative to cremation, since each unit produces a third of the greenhouse gases that cremation does. Wearable Energy Generator Powered by Urine Researchers at the University of West England have invented a pair of socks that use urine to fuel a generator that can power a wireless transmitter. The urine-powered footwear design was inspired by the simple cardiovascular system of fish. Soft tubes under the heels pump urine when a person is walking, circulating the urine over microbial fuel cells embedded in the socks. The microbial fuel cells contain bacteria that consume organic waste. The fuel cells convert energy produced by microbial growth into electricity. The electricity generated by the socks can power a wireless transmitter that sends a signal to a computer. The system comes with a container that can store up to 648 milliliters of urine. According to a press release published by the University of West England's website, this technology can use any organic waste to produce electricity. It also opens up the possibility to use waste to power portable and wearable devices. New water-absorbing concrete can prevent flash floods. A British company called Tarmac has invented a new kind of concrete that can absorb huge amounts of rainwater during storms. The new concrete, called Top Mix Permeable, allows the ground to absorb 36,000 millimeters of water per hour. Traditional concrete, by comparison, is usually permeable enough to allow a minimum of 300 millimeters of water to be absorbed by the ground per hour. Instead of being sand-based, Top Mix is made of no-finds concrete, tiny pieces of crushed granite packed together that better allow water to pass through. It comes in three designs, full infiltration, which sends water to the soil underneath, partial infiltration, which has a semi-permeable barrier that acts as a drainage system, and full attenuation, which uses a capture system to store water, allowing the water to be reused. Tarmac invented the new concrete to help prevent flash flooding in urban areas. Boeing patent reveals drone capable of flying forever. Boeing has received a patent for a type of drone that could potentially fly forever. The patent describes a lighter-than-air aircraft which charges via tether while remaining aloft. When the drone receives a signal, it detaches from the charging tether and changes location. The drone could also be charged via ship, moving land vehicle, or high-altitude balloon. The system addresses two drawbacks of traditional drones. Fixed-wing drones require a runway to take off and must return to base to recharge. Vertical takeoff drones have limited range and cumbersome landing gear. 
The floating drones could provide persistent monitoring of an area or rapid delivery service without needing to land. 